Hey guys, Aaron here with another fountain pen review. And uh, this is a pen that I actually just received in the mail today. Um, and it's an interesting little pen. Um, you know, something that caught my eye um, on eBay and um, definitely it's not an expensive pen by any means. And I, uh, I don't own any other wooden pens and that's, I thought it would be kind of neat to purchase this one. Um, I had, uh, been wanting to get the, uh, there's a Delike model, um, on eBay that I was wanting to purchase that is an, an, a whole entire wood pen, uh, cap, everything is wooden except for the, uh, section of course. And um, that one's more expensive than the pin that you see in front of you. So I, I decided to try this one out and just kind of see uh, what I thought about it. Um, the pin in front of you, it's uh, a Wing Sung, uh, model 7250. Um, on eBay, if you just simply type in Wing Sung wood pin, it will pull up. There are other color variations. Um, this one I, I liked. And uh, that's the reason why I decided to get this one. Um, the, uh, I couldn't really find any information. And bear in mind, I didn't do a lot of research behind the pen um, about as far as what the metal material was exactly. It looked like brass in the pictures, but I would question that now because there's already some issues with the metal. And again, I just received it today. Now, one thing, of course, I did, you know, in the description, I did read that to expect there to be color variations because essentially you're purchasing a, a wood product. Um, and, and this one definitely, is, the color is not as deep or rich as what I thought it would be. But that's really not disappointing. Um, and, and part of that is because this pin sold or I got it on the auction that I got it from was $8.98 and it was free shipping. So I can't complain about, you know, the wood not looking exactly like it did. Now, as far as the wood goes, um, you know, it, there were a couple parts when I got it today that, um, you know, you can feel the finish is not perfect. Um, in the, the, it was a little bit dull. Um, I did put, um, Johnson's paste wax on the wood, um, something that I would feel comfortable enough to put on the pen. It's a pen that's $8 and 98 cents. I'm not worried about ruining, um, the finish of the pen. And I've used paste wax on a million other wood products and never had an issue. And if I was to polish this pen or, or clean it, it would probably be what I would use in the future. Um, and with a pen at this price point, it gives me a chance to kind of test something out. But I, I will say once I put the paste wax on it, let it sit for about, you know, 30 minutes and then I kind of polished it. Um, it definitely looks a lot better. And I, I should have taken a picture of what the pen looked like beforehand. And of course, I did not do that. Um... Outside of that, I mean, that's really, you know, kind of how I acquired the pen. Again, I got it today. Um, the packaging was fine. It was it was well packaged. Came in a little black pen sleeve, um, similar to what, you know, I, I've gotten in the past from other Chinese um, uh, pen places on, on eBay. Um, as far as the, the pen barrel, there is, you know, nothing special. Um, no rings or anything, nothing as far as the finial, it's all wood. Um, the cap itself, it, the transition is minimal. There's really no step up necessarily. Um, you'll see here, we've got the, uh, Wingsung emblem, um, as well as some characters on either side, which, you know, I would assume those may stand for Wingsung. I'm, I'm not certain on that. And you'll notice the barrel definitely has some nicks and scratches in it already. There you'll see the model number. So, you know, I, I don't know, you know, how these pens are kept. You know, I, I don't, 
I mean, I've seen some pictures of, of other pens, you know, kind of being in just like a bucket almost, so to speak. So again, you know, no, no pin box with a pen, which I wouldn't expect at that price point. Um, so I, you know, again, I would, am not surprised that the barrel's a little bit dinged up and it, it doesn't bother me. This is not a pen that I'm expecting to be in beautiful condition. The biggest thing is, does the nib perform and does it write? And I think the wood material is at least interesting. I have not inked up this pen yet, by the way. So it is a screw off cap and you'll see the section. Um, I am not a big fan of metal sections, like probably a lot of people. Um, I will say this one does not feel really slippery and the threads are not sharp. So if you hold your pen up higher, um, should not be an issue at all. They're machined well, actually. There is a step down um, from the um, barrel to the section, and you'll see it tapers down, and just a slight flare at the end. So, you know, if you hold it way back here, I could see where this might be a little bit annoying because of the step down. Um, but I, I generally hold my pin here, and it's fine. You'll notice this pin is a fairly decent sized pin. It's definitely one that you don't have to cap. I would probably not cap it, and plus it's really, you can, but it's not going to cap securely. And with the wood material, I would not be capping this pen anyways. Um, so moving on to the nib, um, you'll see that, turn that back light off a little bit. You'll see we've got your Wingsung nib. It says EF. You see a little bit of scroll work, and then it's got the little Wingsung emblem on there. Um, so I'm assuming an extra fine nib. And then you flip it over, and this is where I always find Wing Sung's interesting. Um, they generally have this pilot style feed that you see on like Metropolitans and several of the pilot um, pen brands. And the feed works well. I've, I've, all my Wing Sung's that I own um, generally work very well. Turn the light back on. Um, opening up the barrel reveals our converter. Um, it's a converter. There's not much to say about it. It's got your agitator. Um, it's a standard international converter, so obviously you can use um, cartridges if you wanted to. Um, obviously, with this pen being wooden, it's not be a pen that I would eye drop. Plus, you've got metal here, so definitely not a pen that I would eye drop at all. Um, outside of that, I mean, the pen's interesting. Um, you know, what I like about it, um, I, I think the wood material is cool. Um, the price for me is good. Um, we'll see how it performs. I'm going to ink it up here in a moment and do a writing sample. So we'll see how it performs. Um, what I don't like so far is just the cap. Um, let's see if I can get it closer. Sit the pen over there. And again, see here, you can notice, again, more discoloration here. You've got some dings and nicks. So, I mean, that's one thing is just, you know, the quality control or, or at some point this just got really banged up. Some of that I might be able to fix, but I'm not going to sit here and do a bunch of work on this pen. It was not expensive at all. This could, if the nib performs, this could be a pen that I could just, you know, kind of like a bum around pen. All right, so up next, guys, is going to be the writing sample. Um, so I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, guys, back here. Um, before I do a writing sample, I was going to do a, some sizing comparisons just to give you guys an idea of the uh, pen size. <clears throat> and obviously, as you can tell, this pen doesn't have a clip, so it's a little bit annoying, kind of rolls around on the desk. Um, so here we have a Pilot Custom 74. So you can see it's actually a little bit longer. Um, and that pin is, uh, Custom 74 is a decent sized pin. Um, here's a Sailor Professional Gear. And for one more sizing comparison, um, here is a Montverde Impreza. Let's see how close. Again, a little bit longer. So like I said, it's it's a decent sized pin. Um, 
You know, these two pins are not huge pins, but they're decent sized pins. They definitely are not small. The Sailor Pro gives a little bit smaller. So this pin's definitely, definitely a good size pin, which is probably a good thing considering you can't post it. Um, kind of makes it to where um, it's more usable in the hand. All right. I have not written with this pen yet. I just put ink in it, um, flushed it out a couple times, so we will see how it writes. So again, let's see if you guys can see a little bit better. This is the oh, and we had some ink spillage, so not a good sign so far not wanting to perform. Obviously I am having performance issues guys. Let me mess with this pin for just a moment, see if I can flush it out a little bit more and see if I can get it to write. All right guys, and I'm glad that as you can tell, I have ink all over my hands now. Um, so the um, I, I flushed the pen out again and I took the nib and feet out um, and put it back in, re-inked it again, flushed it with ink a couple of times, two or three times, and now it seems to be writing. So it looked like, and I don't know, and I didn't catch this. Like I said, I literally took this pen out of the box, did not mess with it at all. I wanted this to review to be as new as possible. Um, and the nib and feed were not set very well. Um, I should have caught that earlier. So that was kind of my bad. So hopefully now the writing sample will be better. The pen, I kind of messed around with it for a second. I think we're, we should be good. So as I said before, this is the Wing Sung 7250. And it is a extra fine nib. It definitely gives um, some feedback. Um, as I said before, I paid $8.98 on this pen. Um, with free shipping. <clears throat> and the ink I'm using is uh, Diamine Ancient Copper. It's ink I like. And we'll do a writing sample. Oh, there's, gosh, what is wrong with me? After watching reviews and Hearing reviewers talk about how difficult it is to write over a camera. I uh, now understand more and more how to why they say that. So, quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Um, the pin's definitely performing a lot better. Um, do a little bit of fast writing. No skipping. It, it definitely is scratchy. Um, it, it's not a horrible, horrible scratchiness, but definitely is scratchy. See if, you know, you can, I will say, you can get some line variation. Not not a ton, um, but you can get some. You'll see it kind of kip up, kick up. I mean, this is literally no pressure at all. So you can get some line variation with this pen. It, it's a little bit springy. Um, you know, I mean, it not a, not a bad little pen as far as uh, line variation. And the... the the uh, the feed definitely keep, keeps up, and that's something I've noticed about other Wing Sung pens. That's why I was surprised when this pen did not write at first, and and part of that might have just been me not inspecting um, the nib better when when, when I got it. Um, but hey, it's a learning experience. Now I have ink on my hands. Who cares? 
Um, guys, that's really about it. Um, as far as me, for eight dollars and ninety eight cents, it's a nice little pen. Um, I probably will not buy another one, um, but I like this pen. I I think the nib. I think that this is interesting. Um, this nib actually has more springiness than my other wing slug nibs. Um, you know, and the fact that it's an extra fine, you get that really fine line and then you get this much more broad, almost like a medium line. Um, something I never do, but I will show if it does reverse writing. And it does. It is scratchy though, but you could do it. It's like an ultra extra fine line now. Um, but again, for $8.98, I don't regret the purchase. Um, but again, it's not a pen that I'm going to be like, man, I got to go out and buy every color now. Um, it's definitely not that pen, but, um, this part does surprise me, which makes me like the pen, um, that much more. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I've got more pens in the mail. I've also got a whole bunch of other pens that I want to review. Some few pens that are a little bit more higher end and I will keep my vintage pens coming as well. Hopefully you guys enjoy those videos. Until next time, have a great day.